All right, we've got our game ready to go between the two La Liga players. Again, guys, I don't know if we scripted it this way, but a striker against a defender. It is Iglesias against Gaia. Take it away, gentlemen. Mark Brown, Jimmy Conrad. Thank you very much, Kevin. Well, it is Betis against Valencia, two of the big, big historic teams in La Liga Santander, both with two huge fan bases. It's the Mediterranean coast against the southern passion of Andalusia. It's Betis against Valencia. It's a defender and against an attacker. And it's a game of two halves. We're kicking off here in the Benito Via Marin. Both players have said they're going to go 4-4-2, Jimmy, which is more or less what we've seen with the two real sides so far this season. Yeah, I think you go with what you're familiar with, you know, in terms of how guys move, how they support the play. That doesn't change, whether it's real or virtual. So it'll be interesting to see how they utilize their teammates who they get to bark at uh, at every training and in games. Well, an early touch there for Geddes. Valencia was such attacking firepower. Parejo is the metronome of this team, the captain. Expect him to dominate on the ball. Condogbia is in there, the Frenchman with a bit of muscle. And here's Gaia controlling Gaia. Parejo again. Just cool, calm, and collected at the moment. Parejo just tucks it forward. It's outside to the winger, Carlos Soler. Soler, another one of this bunch of promising prospects at Mestalla, the likes of. Ferran Torres of Gaia himself. Well, here's Canales. Betis not short of talent either. The young Brazilian fullback, Emerson. Into William Carvalho. This is good build-up play by Borja through his Betis side as well. On the far side, play brought to a standstill. Jauma, the Valencia goalkeeper, kicks off from inside his own area. Valencia worked the ball down the right-hand side once again. Steady opening from the away side. Valencia in the change strip. And these orange shorts it is in this traditional green and white stripes of theirs. Parejo dominating possession to Daniel Wasser right back. The Dane lays it off. Here's Geddes, the young Portuguese winger. Thinks about hitting it. He does indeed. It comes off a best player. And Canales picks things up for Real Betis. Lauren Moron, short ball in. But Betis can't get a hold of the ball at the minute. They can't get out of their own half. Yeah, I mean, as you know, Mark, a lot of games are won and lost in midfield. Both of these teams have really talented midfielders. I really love Valencia's in particular with Soler, Condogbia, Pereo, and Torres. I think it's a nice blend of experience and youth. But... Betis has a game changer. Somebody who's come into La Liga in his first season has really made a big difference for Betis. That's Nabil Fakir. So I feel like Borja has to get Fakir a lot of the ball because he can pull the strings in so many different ways. Yeah, Fakir, the Moroccan, the big arrival from Lyon last summer at Betis, along with Borja himself, of course. The big signings at the Benito Villamarín. Here's Laura Moron, the academy product the striker into Fekir but Fekir runs down a blind alley here's Carvalho Lauren Moron this is Iglesias and Jauma sticks out the right hand and another one great double save from the Valencia keeper and he's pleased his punch there yeah good sequence there from Borja good patience I thought at the top of the box to create that opportunity Jauma punches again Joaquin, the veteran captain, down at Betis, 38 years young. Lauren. Fekir, Fekir. Brilliant stuff there from the Moroccan, but in the end just chips the ball up. Jalma takes, and great, great rhythm to the start of this game. 25 minutes gone in the first yeah. half. Yeah, I think the next time we see that type of opportunity from Borja or any other of the competitors, Instead of just hitting a hopeful cross where the goalkeepers gobble it up, I think they have to hit it hard and low to give their strikers a chance to actually get on the end of it if they make some good runs. Rodrigo marshaled off the ball. And that's a throw in to Betis. Mandy, ball right across the bat line. Alex Moreno, the young left fullback. Now on the far side, it's switched though to Fekir again. Borca's looking to get Fekir on the ball. 
Looks like Jose Gaya's equal to that tactic. He's just smothering him out. Get his. Well, Valencia suddenly have one over. Here's Cherry Chef, the Russian, with the pullback on Dogbier. Space in the box, and that's a brilliantly worked ball. And it's put in the corner. Rodrigo gets the opener. Gaya said he was his favourite, and he gets the first goal. Yeah, fantastic first goal, and I think it comes from them playing wide, stretching the defense a little bit, created some gaps. Kondogbia does very, very well to join the attack late, and that creates uh, another gap as the center back steps to him. He taps it over to uh, someone else who taps it in, so that's uh, a very good goal, very well worked, and, and if that's the way Gaia is going to be playing throughout this tournament, I expect Valencia to do very well uh, and go pretty far, and maybe even to the final. Yeah, Jimmy, he looked quietly confident, didn't he, pre-match? He just had that look in his eye, didn't he? It's the gaming chair and the, and the, and the headset. You know, he, he knows he's been in this situation before. He's not a stranger to it. Yeah, he looks calm as a cucumber there. And here is Geddes. Let's fly from distance. Joel Robles takes. And the rollout is not Ooh. the best one. Geddes will get another ah. one. And he's just turning it on a bit too much, the young Portuguese striker. Borja drives his team forward. Canales, William Carvalho, over the halfway line. Played out to the left flank. Joaquin hugging that touch line. Carvalho once again. To Joaquin, cleverly worked. Borja Iglesias... Looks to create a shooting opportunity. Gets one from Lauren and Jaumar again. Saves the day. It's a corner ball. A good build-up play, though, on the edge of the area. And wonderful reflexes from the Valencia keeper. Yeah, two attempts on goal so far. And both were coming from patience from Borja. So he, continue, he has to continue to, to find that trend, make that a theme of his attack, because it's leading to some success. Yeah, the set piece, though, the corner comes to nothing. Jaumar. Gaia looks to play out calmly from the back. Parejo. Soler to Was. These tactics have certainly been drilled into the joystick of the control of Jose Gaia. Gabriel Paulista. Gaia. Dispossessed by Canales. That's good sweeping move forward. Iglesias to Lauren. Good game this one. That's good coverage from Garay. From Dobia. Rodrigo just pulled off his man. He always does that so well. And looks like the half-time whistle has come and it's flown over, Jimmy. Great first half of football. Yeah, great first half. I thought we got to see the personalities of both players and what they're looking to do and how they're trying to have success. Seems Gaia, who unsurprisingly tries to play wide and use that width. That's where he plays in real life, whereas Borja's trying to go down the middle a little bit more, and that's where how he likes to play in real life, to try to combine and make stuff happen and be patient in and around the box. Fair result? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe they deserve to be uh, even at this point, given the, the opportunities that Borja has put together. But, you know, it's something to be said for, for Gaia and his, let's say, his coolness, his, his composure. So we'll see if that continues here in the second half. Yeah, Jose Gaia hasn't moved since the start of the first half. So we'll see if that continues here in the second half. Borca, <laughs> perhaps Jimmy needs to get needs to get. Yeah, Jose Gaia hasn't moved Fact, since the start of the first half. Borca, <laughs> perhaps Jimmy needs to get needs to get Fakir back on the on the ball a bit more, perhaps. Yeah, I think I think there was a good opportunity where he played it into Loren and he looked to play forward when he had support. Uh, behind him. So there are different opportunities for him to, when he is in a counter-attacking uh, situation, to to really maximize the extra number. And I don't think he's done that successfully yet in this first half. We'll see, though, in the second. Well, it's Gaia who's working the space once of the cross. He knows it was close. Robles. Met by Gabriel Paulista, though, and Valencia win it back. Cherry Chef finds there's no way past Calvario. Steady as a rock, the Portuguese international midfielder. Canales helps it on. Joaquin Moreno. 
Canales. And Canales, though, just running into trouble. Given away by Rodrigo. And that's great stuff. Joaquin. Canales. Borja. Shot blocked. Canales. Great period of sustained pressure from the visitors. Valencia weather the storm. Rodrigo. Suddenly, it's two against three. Gallardo chooses, chooses just to hold play up, waits for support. Valencia again, getting the shape together. Carlos Soler. Garay. The ball eventually played long. Soler, first time cross. The volley cross was a good one. He gets the rebound too. Joaquin out, back helping. Uh, Moreno at left back. And the long range shots. And uh, Robles. Cherry Chef. Wins play back for Valencia. And Valencia just winning all these second balls at the moment. First time shots. And Valencia are knocking on the door here. It looks like there's going to be some changes. And Borca Iglesias wants to shake things up here. And who's he going yeah, to go for? I think for? he has to, Mark. I really think he has to. I mean, he has Joaquin. And that's when you can tell when a team is on the back foot. Joaquin is back defending near his defensive line. That's the last thing you want uh, somebody of his talent, who so much attacking talent to be forward. You want him close, as close to Nabil Fakir as possible. So he definitely needs to make a change. And I actually appreciate the pause in general. Sometimes when you're getting overrun in FIFA, that pause button, catch your breath, and get back after it. So we'll see if it makes a, a difference here. Yeah, great point, Jimmy. Well, here's Fekir. First time he's really been on the ball in the second period. Again, Valencia, frocking magician. Ferran Torres. Uh -huh. uh, Turning it skill on. Moves. On, skill moves. on skill moves. I love it. Yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. The shot is a good one, too. Far post. But Jose Gaia's Valencia side looking comfortable here. Away at the Benito Via Marin in the heat of Seville. It is Betis nil, Valencia 1. We're heading into the last 20 minutes of this first leg of this quarterfinal in the kick of 19. Rodrigo. Plays it out left to Carlos Soler, picking things up on the left-hand side this time. He's right-footed, but he gets a left-footed cross in. Time running out for Borja Iglesias. He's going to need his talisman, Fekir, to turn on the style here. And no way through once again. Gaia looks in the zone. Yeah, yeah is how he's mixing up the way he's playing, Mark. He plays short. Sometimes he's looking for quick combinations. He's been playing over the top. And I think that's made it really hard for Borja to figure out how to defend him. Tactically, he looks like a man with a very, very good plan indeed. Here's Lauren, though. Borja Iglesias, Canales, to Fekir. And look at that. It's Gaia. He's followed Fekir. He's given him alley here. William Carvalho. Borja Iglesias. This time Betis built from the left there either though. Condogbia. Rodrigo holds play up very well. Always works well with his back to goal. Ferran Torres. Two men to pick out. Ferran bides his time. Went for goal. Well, there's two men on. He knows there was a man on. And there's another change here. Borca going to switch that things up again. He has to. He really has to. And honestly, Gaial will be kicking himself if he gives up a goal to Borja. I feel like he's been letting him hang around too much. Uh, Gaial should have finished this off a long time ago. It should be 2-3-0, in my opinion. Borja has done enough to stick around, but he hasn't really been dangerous going forward. And I think that's a credit to Gaial for really locking things down on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, he's looked great in, in every third of the field, hasn't he? 
Ten minutes to yeah, go. Yeah, he really had. Still one nil. Time ticking down. Time this. Canales. Iglesias. Iglesias scrapping, but it's just not good enough at the moment. Daniel Was. Torres. Garay. Valencia with all the time in the world. Garay feeds Guy. Soler again playing a lot of height. Uh, in the Benito Via Marine, the crowd urging on the home side. Soler. Gamero to Rodrigo, two against two. Gamero, though, tries the patient approach. Last minute, Gamero runs into uh, Carvalho, it was. Canales into stoppage time. The roar of the Benito Villamarín tries to urge on Real. Fekir. Emerson. Betis need to get the ball into the box here. They need to work a last chance. What is it going to be? And it's Jauma. And he knows how important the game. Jauma denies Betis. And that looks like it will be it. Well, it's time for a corner. We're way into stoppage time. Corner drifts over to the far side. And that is it.